Hi everyone, it's Vala from Online Combat Battalion with another Armor 3 Editor tutorial. Uh, this one's going to show you how to use a script by a guy called Alias, which is available on the Steam Workshop called AL Intro. And what it does is it adds a really cool intro sequence to your missions with text titles and music, as well as moving cameras that pan around whatever you use the cameras on. And I'll show you how to, uh, I'll show you what it looks like first and then I'll show you how to use it. Okay, so the mission's loading in. There's a short delay prior to the intro starting. So now we've got the mission name. We've got cameras panning around something interesting. Cameras will now switch to uh, my helicopter reinforcements coming in. And then it's panning onto the patrol base that the choppers are going to land near where the mission is going to start from. And then it will fade into spawn your players. So to start using this we need to place some items with variable names that are recognized by the script. Now if you'll notice this is the first uh, scene from my intro. And I have used um, invisible helipads, which you can find by going to objects, props, and then start, type, start typing the word invisible, and you'll see helipad invisible. And I've placed three of them, and the reason we need three for each scene is that we need two cameras and a target for the cameras. So this um, invisible helipad here has been given the variable name of cam1. This invisible helipad here has been given the variable name cam2 and the variable name of this invisible helipad is target1. So how it works is cam1 will start the scene and then the scene will pan from cam1 to cam2 whilst looking at the target. And obviously you want to be putting these around things that are interesting or that relate to your mission. Now for the helicopters coming in, um, instead of using invisible helipads, I've actually given this chopper the variable name of CAM3. And I've given this helicopter the name Target2, that's the variable name. And I have used one invisible helipad marker here and that's got the variable name of cam4. Okay, so for your first scene, you've got cam1, cam2, and target1. For this scene, you have cam3, cam4, and target2. Okay. Now for the last scene where it's sort of focusing on the base area, I have given um, this invisible helipad the variable name of cam6, this one's cam5, and this one is target3. Um, so it will pan from, and because I've put set it as a moving, I'll show you what I mean in the script, um, basically the, the scene moves from cam5 backwards away from the target okay now they are the only things you need to place in the editor for this to work uh, i'll now show you the script and the bits and pieces in there that you might want to play with to achieve the intro that you want okay so this is my mission folder and for this intro script to work you need the al intro folder the description.ext and the init.sqf. All these other files in here are simply things that do other things in the mission that aren't related to this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to have a look at is the AL intro folder and the intro.sqf 
script. So let's open that up. And what I've got here is some stuff that you need to edit to make um, the intro display what you want it to display. First thing we need to pay attention to is this line here that just says play sound and then in inverted commas the word intro. Now remember that there and the use of the word intro and I'll explain that a little bit when we're in um, the init.sqf. Here's a section here that shows you or teaches you how to uh, use the script as in what parts of each line do what things and you can have a read of that in your own time if you want to know more about the script and how it works. But basically all of this stuff here relates to a line like this and for my mission here are those lines. First thing you'll see is I've got the word periculum which is the name of my mission and a number two zero which is the number uh, the duration in seconds that that word will display for. It's centered and you can have a look at what all this other sort of stuff does. Um, we've got there, that's the hex code for the color of the text. And of course we've got the exec VM AL intro, um, which does the text display stuff. Um, then you'll see we've got cam one, cam two, target one, um, which is uh, relates to variables that we placed in the editor. The next is the number one zero or 10, which is the duration um, that that camera shot from cam one to cam two will display for. These numbers here relate to the zoom of those cameras. Uh, this one false relates to um, whether the camera is um, a moving or stationary camera. Um, you'll notice I had one of my cameras was the helicopter. Okay, so um, that's that. Uh, you'll see the next line down is presented by Online Combat Team, which is the tagline to the main mission name, and that displays for 10 seconds um, on cam three, cam four, and target two. Then the last shot is cam five, cam six, and target three. Okay, so they are your camera shots. You can add additional ones if you would like, um, but I've only just stuck with the three. Next file we're gonna check out is the description.ext. And this is the only thing here that you need for this script to work. All this other stuff here is um, mission, uh, mission specific things that don't relate to the actual intro script. And you'll see I've got class CFG sounds, class intro, and then name intro. Now you remember from the other SQF um, file where it had play sound in inverted brackets intro. Well, that's where it's pulling the name from, from here and from here. Um, I've named the sound intro and it's an og file which is a sound file so when the script calls for that this in your description.ext is where it will get the information from and the location of the sound file next thing is the init.sqf which is in your main mission file um, now all of this stuff here relates to the intro. So throw all this stuff in, but the only thing you really need here is this line, which is uh, the execution of the intro.sqf script, which is the one we edited with our text that we want to use and the timings for display of the text, etc. Okay, so that needs to be in your init.sqf. And again, these um, uh, files uh, I will make downloadable for you. Uh, alternatively, you can search for AL intro on the Steam Workshop and download the script from there and then 
do with it what you need to do. So essentially that's all you need to do is to have um, your variable names of cam1 and cam2 looking at target1, cam3 and cam4 looking at target2, and cam5 and cam6 looking at target3, um, as well as the mission name that you want to use and any tagline you want to put under that. Uh, and when you run the mission, it will work. Um, you may need to play around with the timings for the display of the text, um, the timings for the display of the camera, because you'll notice that in here I have the first camera shot goes for 10 seconds, the next goes for 22 seconds, and the next go for 10 seconds. So that's a, a case of you playing around with it just to get the sort of camera angles and durations and effects that you want. But essentially, if you've got all this set up, it should all work. If you're having difficulties or you're not sure about it, um, post a question in the comment section below. You can also visit on our Discord and ask questions there. The link will be in the description below. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've uh, learned something today and I hope you use this intro and it works out really well for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.